Hello everyone and welcome to the latest in my constructive video series as I am searching for a deck to play in the upcoming Grand Prix Charlotte. Uh, we are going to be playing some modern today, as modern as the format of Grand Prix Charlotte, which you should all know because you should all be going, because it'll be great. But anyway, um, I've been exploring, as you all who read my, uh, my articles know, a variety of different collected company decks in modern. Um, and I haven't really been particularly impressed by a lot of them. The, the problem that I've run into is that Collected Company has been kind of slow in the sort of Naya decks that I've been playing. Um, haven't really found an Abzen version uh, outside of the combo ones that seemed particularly strong. Um, then actually I had been thinking about making a Bant version um, because I think that the ability to sort of, you know, keep mana open uh, can help support, uh, you know, counter spells whether they're in your main deck or your sideboard. Um, and then I, I came across uh, a list that Jacob Wilson posted uh, on Twitter that was a deck that he played in the uh, Invitational this weekend in Columbus, or this past weekend by the time that you'll be seeing this. And uh, I liked the list quite a bit. I, it had a lot of elements to it that I thought was uh, seemed pretty sweet. Um, I, I liked the idea of the sort of Eternal Witness Collected Company package more in Bant uh, than I did in, in Abzan in a lot of ways because of the tools you get with like counter magic and sideboarding, things like that. Um, and one card that was pretty cool in this list that I saw was Flicker Wisp. Um, and Flicker Wisp is a very powerful card um, to Collected Company into, you can even Collected Company response to removal sometimes, be able to possibly hit a Flicker Wisp. Uh, we've seen Flicker Wisp uh, used with uh, with Vile uh, in, in those situations, and Aether Vile, and uh, you know, it can do a lot of a lot of tricky things. One card that was not in Jacob Wilson's list that seemed like it probably ought to be, particularly given that he had both Gavany Township and Flicker Wisp and Restoration Angel, um, was uh, Blade Splicer. Blade Splicer is just such a strong card when you have ways to uh, sort of rebuy its ability. Uh, and with Flicker Wisp already in the deck, uh, Jacob was playing with, with Geist of St. Traft, which is a powerful card for sure. Um, but I thought that that I wanted to try out Blade Splicer for the amount of synergy that it has with uh, the you know uh, flicker effects of Flicker Wisp and Restoration Angel, as well as just with Gavity Township. Creating multiple creatures out of one card is extremely strong with Township, and I think that Township is a card that goes very well with what this deck is doing. Uh, allows you to leverage your mana creatures much more effectively, um, and also clearly works very well uh, with stuff like Kitchen Fink Steel to you know continue to rebuy your. Uh, your persistibility. So, um, this is largely the the shell that that uh, Jacob was playing uh, with that with that major replacement. I'm trying a little bit different sideboard than than Jacob played as well. Um, I think Unified Will feels like it's the best counter magic option for your sideboard. Um, Jacob was playing a uh, a copy of uh, Stomping Ground as well as uh, Magus of the Moon, which seemed kind of unnecessary to me. It seemed like that was uh, kind of doing a lot to mess up your mana base um, that uh, I don't feel was necessary. Was, was necessary. He actually had, had both an island, a basic island, and a stomping ground, and the two Magus and the Moon in his sideboard. And I wanted to see if, you know, if it was reasonable to go in a different route, because that's a lot of cards to devote to that plan in your sideboard. Um, so I'm trying uh, Unified Will, uh, along with Vendillion Click, Meddling Mage, um, and just a variety of different things, uh, even Mind Sensor. Even Mind Sensor feels like it's very strong against the uh, the Amulet decks. Uh, incidentally, Flicker Wisp is actually um, also quite strong against the Amulet decks because you can actually Flicker Wisp their Bounce Lands. Uh, that's one thing that's important. If this is gonna just be big forever, okay? You can actually, if your opponent you know, just sort of sort of playing the game fairly, you know, they play a land and they play, you know, Bounce Land. You can just Flicker Wisp their Bounce Land, and it will, you know, force them to bounce another land again uh, once it actually returns to play. So. Worth noting, powerful uh, interaction that's possible with Flicker Wisp. Um, but some of the some of the, the cyber choices, for instance, Vendillion Click, uh, Eternal Witness, Reclamation Sage. These are all cards that you know have the Enter's Play effect that you can uh, you know you can abuse with Flicker Wisp or Restoration Angel. It's possible this deck actually wants mul more copies of Restoration Angel, but you know I'm just sort of trying it out and exploring and seeing uh, seeing what uh, what feels strong. And uh, and how the how the deck plays out in general. So my inclination is that the third Eternal Witness is probably is probably not necessarily a card you want in your main deck, and maybe you want a second Restoration Angel instead. Um, but I want to you know I want to take the deck for a spin, see how it does, and uh, then potentially make some changes. So anyway, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this deck for a spin, see how it goes, and uh, yeah, let's play some modern. 